How's it going, guys? Ian and Brett here, bringing you the final part of the European Open, brought to you by Spin TV and LCGM8. Uh, Paul McBeth got a two-stroke lead over Dave. Going in our final five holes here, Brett. Yeah, let's see if anybody can make a run on Paul. Yeah. So we're looking at hole 14 here. It's a little bit uphill, and it's kind of a slight dogleg right. Another narrow window here. Yeah, coming out, right? And then it kind of opens up a little bit. Looks like Dave and Paul kind of both went a little bit to the right. And a big germ's flicking up the forehand. Nice shot for this hole. Another forehand advantage on this one. Yeah. Looks like he came up a little short, but not bad. And here's Will Schuster. Ripping up that Annie backhand. Right down the middle. Great shot. Will throws so hard so far, man. I think he's got the uh, world record in that game where they chuck frisbees at each other. Have you seen that? It's ridiculous. Yeah, I think he threw like 120 something. Wow. Yeah. Dave with a. Just a. Gave it a chance, but looking at a par. And uh, here's Big Jim's birdie look. Oh, oh rough. Front rib beggar. Oh, frustrating. Those hurt, man. Here's Paul out of the bushes for his two. Oh, Ooh, another one. Just high. Here comes Will for a birdie, and this should be just a pretty much a tap in for Will, right? Yeah. Oh, oh what? Oh, no love from this basket. <laughs> oh man, this thing is three denials. Let's Iron see. unkind, man. Dave can finish his. Yeah. Of course he can. Yeah, no problem with the no break. Everybody gonna tap him in here. Yeah. Oh man, you see Will is not non plus by that one, man. Oh yeah, everybody's bummed after this. Yeah. He had a chance to make make a stroke on the card. So it looks like we're going to end up with a little par frame on this one, yeah? Yep, next hole. Yep, next hole. A little frustration there. Yeah. Bummer. non stuck. All right. Hole 15 here. 659 foot par four. This is a beast. A lot of obstacles on this one. Yeah. With some water. Yeah, they got those tall trees. Lots of OB. Tons of OB. And I've seen people actually try to go for the green in one. Oh, crazy. Yeah, that's a beast of a throw. But yeah, you really got to bomb it. Yeah, I think Dave is just laying up for a nice, easy uh, attempt at a three anyway. And uh, he's a bounce. And here's Paul's drive. That one looks like, looks like it's fading a little bit. Yeah, it came out a little early on him. Oh, that one is OB. Unfortunate right there. So he'll be playing from the drop on his next. Yeah, at least he should have a look at, look at making, a, making par. Yeah. Ooh, big germ. Was that a tomahawk? Oh, 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 that's my shot. That's your specialty, yeah, man. Yeah, nice. <laughs> i like to see that. Brett can crush a tomahawk. It, it hurts my shoulder just watching. And he came up just short of that little uh, watery trench right there. Yep, yep. Yeah, not too oh. bad, though. Right in the middle of the fairway. Play it safe. Yeah. He'll have a good look. Yeah. Will Christian had a huge hyzer bomb. Way up there. Oh, man, he throws so far. Oh, Oops. holding it in there. Yeah, stays in bounds. Nice shot. Look at that. Huge gallery, man. That's so cool. Big old gallery, yeah. Yeah. So big germs, the first of his second shots. Nice, easy flick. Yeah. Huh. Oh, oh, <laughs> flirting with that OV. Rattling it. Yep. You just need a piece to be in bounds and you're good. And he had that covered. So this is Paul's third shot after the uh, OB stroke. Comes up just a little bit short, but it's not about up. Safe. Looking at Dave's second shot here. Playing around that tree, looking yeah, good. Yeah, nice up from Mr. Feldberg. Yeah. Will floating it in on his second shot. Looks like a good up. Yeah, that was a really nice up. So there's a big, big germ with his pretty look. Looks like a little windy. That flag's uh, dancing around. Oh, oh, is that two in a row? <laughs> two or three. It's Ouch. Brutal. Paul saves par with that putt. Really nice. Those elevated pins, man, they get in your head sometimes. Yeah. They throw you off a little bit, man. No problem for Will and Paul so far. Makes your comebacks a lot longer, too. <laughs> if you miss, you know. 
Oh, yeah. No problem for day right there. There's Jeremy tapping in his four. Rough, another second one off the basket there. Yeah. Look at this hole. Oh, man. So this one's a little interesting. It's a, kind of a big dog leg left. And if your second shot, you're throwing it in this little tiny island. And uh, it plays where you have to land in the island or you have to throw again. And but, but no stroke? No, there's no stroke. You have to count the stroke for throwing, but there's no additional OB stroke. Okay. Yeah. So that, that was a nice uh, safe shot from Dave right there, right in the middle of the fairway. And here's Will's drive. Will bombing one out here. Oh, God. Just crushing it. Oh. Oh, did he go over here? Right there? Yeah, yeah. Too a little long. Wow. So here he is. It's re -tee. This one sneaks back and bounds here. Yeah, that one's looking pretty good. Paul Macbeth with his drive. Ripping out the big old hazard bomb. Everybody playing the same shot there. Yeah, yeah that'll work right there. You always tell me somebody actually, I can't remember his name, but somebody actually went for it and won and made it. Wow, impressive. <laughs> that is just crazy. He didn't pull a 10 cup? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think it was like over 500 feet. Wow. Yeah, and it's not a huge landing area either. So here's Big Germ with his second shot, ripping out that forehand, Brett. Oh, wow, it just makes it look so easy. <laughs> oh, wow. Pretty much parked right there. Forehand advantage on that one. Yeah, yeah, it definitely plays into the green on the right angle. And here's Dave's second shot. Spikes it in yeah, there. Yeah, he's safe as well. Very nice. It's a scary shot. It'll get in your head, man. Oh, yeah. I, I think Dave actually took a nine in the first round. Ouch. <laughs> on this hole. Oh! Oh, so yeah, plus you got the hay bale. The hay bale, yeah. yeah. Well, Paul came up a little short on his second shot, so here's his third. This one's looking better. Oh, yeah. Oh, Part yeah. Yeah. Will with his third shot. Not so much. Will's fourth. Oh, Nestle. Oh, buddy. Oh, wow. Oh, get over. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Flirty right there. We made it in. There's a camera, dude. Apparently, this was a uh, broadcast on Finnish national television. Oh. And live stream, pretty cool. Yeah, big old gallery out here. Yeah, really cool tournament to go watch. Oh, yeah. nice putt from Dave. Oh, Dave burying it. Great shot. Yeah. Trying to make a run on Paul here. Yeah, yeah, he's doing work. Will cleaning his up. Yeah. With authority. Nice way to finish, at least. Yeah. Yeah. Paul looking for par right here. Yeah. Not too bad after the... Uh, the missed attempt on the, on the island. Big germ making it look easy. Yeah, really nice three right there. All right, Paul and Dave are tied, going into hole 17. Good action here. Yeah, really cool. 459 feet. This, I think this is probably the longest part three. This is a beast. It's generated downhill, and there's OB left and right. And Yuha was telling me there was a crazy wind on this one. Yeah, look at those trees blowing all over. Yeah, he said it was blowing pretty good headwind and a little bit of left to right, too. Look at those. Look, look at this disc jump up and down. It just carries it. Getting the super fade that Ooh, barely that stays stay in bounds. In? Yeah. Oh, that's good. Okay. Dave went OB, didn't he? Yeah, yeah, he was rolled off. Yeah. There's Paul Macbeth, and I'm pretty sure that's a T-Bird, actually. Oh, this one's fading. Yeah. Hooking over there, oh, too. Oh, hold on. Ooh, cut rolled back in bounds. Ooh, nice. That was scary. You see the pins come on a down slope as well from uh, right to left. It makes it really hard to stick throwing a backhand. Will rips out a pretty good bomb right here. Yeah, you can see him pin it, just pin high. Pin high, yeah, impressive. Yeah. I've seen that Dave Felberg actually throw some rollers on this one before. Oh, he's got the skills to yeah. park it down there. Yeah, I think the, uh, the wind kind of scared him away from that one on this. Yeah, look at the flag blowing. You notice on these last few holes, it's yeah. just ripping on every hole. Definitely. There's Dave's upshot after the penalty stroke. We're going to be not too bad. Paul's second shot. That was a really nice up. Yeah, good up. Put a little pressure on Dave. Yeah. Same shot here from Jerem. Yeah. 
Are they making minis over there? <laughs> That's right. Another park job. Yeah, really nice stuff from, from Jeremy. It's like Will's going for it here. Yeah, it looks like he's running it. Scary putt. Ooh, that was a really scary putt. That's OB on that uh, trail right there. So here's Dave trying to save Bogue. Ooh. Cans it. Under, under pressure. Yeah, that's pretty under pressure and pretty death buddy, too. <laughs> so here's Will coming back up the hill for par. No prob there. Good hole for Will. Yeah. I'm sure he would have liked that bird, obviously. Yeah, definitely. Hey, getting a bird on this hole, that's a good bird. Yeah, that was a tough two. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> 459. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. There's Big German Macbeth happening in their pars. And that's going to bring us to hole 18. And Paul's got a one stroke lead over Dave. 692 par 4. Yeah. Serious dog leg, right? OB everywhere. Just crazy. Ooh, Jeremy ripping oh, out the four. Watch out for that light. <laughs> yeah. You missed it. And oh, he's way down there. Yeah. Good right, shot. In the, right in the middle of the fairway. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There's all these like little random trees that could uh, kind of mess with your line a little bit. Kind of interesting. Paul strip it. I think that's actually one of his destroyers. He's a super stable destroyer. Nice drive, stadium bounce. Yeah, he's out there in the middle. He's got to look at it. Yeah. Another big backhand here. Wow, well crushing out there. Nice drive from Dave. Oh, sitting right on right next to Paul. Yeah. So on your second shot, it's, it plays uh, pretty uphill. And then I think the pin's also on a little uh, hay bale stand. Yep, indeed. Nice drive, uh, second shot from Dave. Oh, not bad, yeah, I'll be looking at a bird there. Yeah. Needs the needs bird to try and catch up, Paul. Yeah, let's see what Paul can do here. Yeah. Whoo! Ripping out a huge Iser Bob. Look at that flag blowing, too. Yeah, real windy. He comes up a little short as well. Pretty close to Dave. They're looking at the same putt yeah, here. Yeah, they kind of are. Will was a little farther down the fairway. We're looking at his second shot right here. And I don't think we're going to see it finish. But he's decently he's, close. He's good. He's inbounds. Inbounds, yep. yep. No, that at least. Jeremy Rick out the backhand. Ooh, Ooh, comes up a little long. Almost got the almost got the mound there. Yeah. So here's Paul for the win with the birdie. Oh Ooh, look at that thing dancing in the wind. Wow, I think he just dropped out of the air. Downwind will really Dave, do gotta that to hit you. it. Yeah, gotta hit it to force the uh, playoff. Oh. oh no chain love. Tickle tickle no love. Brutal. Oh, oh, Jeremy with another front rim banger. Man, it's been a rough last few holes for yeah. Big Jerm. It has. Here's Dave trying to force it with Paul. Oh, did he sneak that in off the front lip? Yeah. <laughs> Barely. So Paul's got to make his par putt, but you guys thought he made it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. And that's Paul McBeth. He's probably not going to miss that putt. <laughs> These guys are too good. Yeah, they are. So here comes Paul for the win. And there he is, the 2013 European Open champion, Paul McBeth. Great action. Yeah, that was exciting. All exciting finish. All four guys throwing some good shots out there. Yeah. The win made it interesting. Played a little different than uh, past years. Gotta say that. Look at this huge crowd. Everybody coming out to Avery, support the yeah, disc. Avery Jake is there saying, saying what's up. Congratulations, Paul. Great, great showing. Yeah, yeah, great play. All right, let's uh, see what Paul's got to say. Catch you guys around. Thanks for watching. Well, first, I just want to say thank you, UC, for putting on this event. Um, it brings all us Americans out here and a lot of the European players out here. So thank you for putting this event on and the staff. Uh, they ran an incredible tournament. Um, so thank you guys for that. Um, and then next, I got to give a shout out to my competitors. I mean, these guys, 
especially Dave over here after that first round, um, pushing and pushing and pushing and just making for better play. So thank you guys and everyone else for playing. Uh, it was a fun event. And then I got to thank some sponsors, Innova Champion Discs, Grip Bags, Spitfire Minis, and give a shout out to Dismania for putting this event on. And uh, thank you everyone for coming out and watching. I uh, hope you guys had a great time. Thank you. Okay, give a big applause to our winners and top three competitors. Thank you, Yusi. My name is Brian Graham. I'm the executive director of the Professional Disc Golf Association. Earlier this week, Yusi made a very bold statement. He said he was going to run the most professional disc golf tournament ever. Well, I've been to disc golf tournaments all over the world, and UC did run the most professional disc golf tournament ever. Quito's, UC, Quito's Finland. Thank you, Brian. And I want to thank all my staff members. It's been an amazing week. This is something that I have never even dreamed about, about this event when we started a year ago. So I'm really honored to be here on the stage and uh, I want to really thank about thank you my team my, my co-workers and everybody who make this event possible thank you